Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're JK and Kim, and we love traveling, exploring, and enjoying the hashtag van life way of RV. With our fur babies, we could be called weekend camping warriors because we're still juggling several busy careers, but we're hitting the road whenever we can. Follow along with us as we enjoy what we call hashtag van life for big people. Thanks for joining me, JK and Kim in the camper. It's still winter in Minnesota. Yeah, we're hoping for spring coming soon so we can get back out and do some camping. And when we're not doing the, the recaps of uh, some of our recent trips, we thought we would uh, share some of the things that we like doing in the camper, share some of the things that we use a lot. And one of our favorite pieces of Camping cooking gear is... The camp oven! <laughs> Coleman camp oven. This thing is awesome. I mean, we've had cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. We've had pizza. pizza. We The first time we used it was catastrophe. Yeah, we'll and tell you'll you see some that. of the do's and don'ts of using this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, a great piece of equipment, and look at how compact it is. I mean, it's... You know, a couple inches deep in the box and... It's a little puffy because we have a pizza stone in here as well as a heat diffuser. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's you been... You open it up? It's been awesome. There it is. So There's that's upside dial. down. But yeah, we'll show you this and uh, kind of show some clips of us using it out in the uh, wild while camping. How long have we had this? It's got to be going close to, I think we got it last year. About a year, I think. And uh, yeah. we were all excited. We saw some other reviewers and you got to play with it a little bit. And yeah, we have so. some other things that we want to try in here this coming year. So uh, why don't we get out of the cold and snow and go inside and we'll set it up and we'll talk about it. Awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it recording? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you look cute in your ski cap. My cap is very large. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lot of hair, so it. What's this? It's like about the only hair I have. <laughs> you still look cute. I match the box. That's true. <clears throat> Let's do it. Well, here we are back inside the old home front, and uh, it's a little bit too cold to be out in the van trying to maneuver this around. We wanted to show you how we set it up and uh, talk about uh, some of the parts of this and uh, kind of go over the whole shoot match here. As you can see, it's very compact. It fits in uh, most spots in your van very easily, but then when it opens up, it uh, becomes quite large. What's uh, the, the measurements on those? Uh, it looks like uh, you've got a 10 inch square rack adjusting to three heights. Okay, that's um, inside. It's inside. Um, you can use this to bake meals or use as a warming station. Okay. Thank you for my cue cards in the back of the box. <laughs> Designed to fit a Coleman liquid fuel and propane camp stove. So we've got the little green uh, one pound yeah. little propane tank. Or do. we also have a small LP tank that we hook it up to and it has a longer running time and it's cheaper too. And it's got an easier to read uh, thermometer there for accurate cooking. Do you think That's it's true. pretty accurate? I think so. I mean, as long as it gets the job done and doesn't burn, that's the main thing. So let's give you a couple tips on how to properly cook your pizza or your um, cinnamon rolls or what have you. All, All right. right, let's open it up and uh, put it together. Before we do that, let's measure this. So it's, it's 12 by 12. 11 and a half to be exact. Somewhere in there. So we've got a pizza stone at the bottom. So you take that. Okay. Burr, it's cold. It is cold. And outside. This is our pizza stone that we use inside. Mm -hmm. And this is a nine inch round pizza stone. And here's the rack. And that's the 10 inch rack. It does give you a little manual. Mm -hmm. So we'll put that aside for now. Put that aside. Put our pizza stone aside. aside. So here it is in all its glory. Are you gonna 
Set it up? No, because you've always done it. Oh. I don't know how. Okay. Well, unless you really want to test it to see how easy it is. Well, you have to unlock it first. All right, so you teach me how. Okay. You're going to break a nail. That's stuck. There you go. Oh, and that's how it does it. on the back, too. Oh, I see how it okay. works. I think that one just locked it, though. Right. Yeah, so we got to unlock Open that. Open it up. And then the, the accordion's out, straight up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then... She's never done this before. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never done this before. She has never <laughs> done this before. And here is the bottom. That flips up. <laughs> this reminds me of the dog kennels. They kind of go together like this. It's exactly like the dog kennels. But this one, you got to get this. So the one, the things that, <laughs> things that lock it closed also help. Do you want to do it because you're like the pro at it? No, I think it's hilarious that neither one of us are doing this very well. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> Let go of the handle now. Let go of the handle now. Okay, now you can lock that top. It's not ready though because it's not in these little latches here. Okay. So I well, figured that side. out. Get that. Are we good now? We're good now. Ugh. All right. Okay. Is that it? Yes. <sighs> you can tell it's been several months since we set this thing up. So. We love it though. We do. So, I mean, that's it. That's all there is. And then the rack goes in. There are three different levels to put the rack in. Now we found that cooking on the very top rack eliminates any quick burning, burning from the bottom. And then the other thing we've done is put the pizza stone down on the very bottom to help diffuse the heat. Be so kind as to hand me the pizza stone. Uh. So, thank you. <laughs> Just a common everyday pizza stone. What happened on the bottom? Uh, we baked a pizza on top of it and it stuck a little bit. Mm. But our other pizza stone for our other oven does the same. So you can either set it down on the very bottom, that'll help diffuse because the heat from your stove comes up, or you can put it up here and put your pizza directly on top of that. So maybe at, you know, what have you been baking on? Like what kinds of, like when you do cinnamon rolls, what do you, what's the baking dish? Good question. Let's get one. All right, so we've been using these for both plates in the van. Mm -hmm. Put salad and steak or whatever mm -hmm. on those. And we have little paper inserts that go there. So it- Parchment paper. Kind of helps with cleanup. Or uh, we've baked individual rectangular pizzas because we do use the uh, pizza crust out of the pop and fresh mm -hmm. and Make you can own. cut it in half long ways and it fits real nice in there. The other thing I use is just a regular old tin pipe pan and that fits in there perfectly. And these go in there. What size are these? Are these awesome. eight sheets? I think they're eight sheets. I think they're eight sheets. And you can get these on Amazon. Yep. We'll have the link in the description below. Uh -huh. We also have a link for this. Uh, Amazon's selling this for $49.99. Oh, $50. I just bucks. Checked $50. And uh, I think it's built solid enough where it's going to last for a while. I think what makes it fun is that you have to bring out your camp stove. Right. I mean, that's how you have to use it. You have to put it on top of your camp stove, right? Right. This oven gets really, really hot, and I wouldn't recommend that you do anything with this inside your van or RV. I think it, uh, it would be uh, dangerous, to say the least. Speaking of danger, <laughs> our first escapade with this oven was on a Coleman, brand new Coleman grill stove. Combo. Yeah. Combo deal. So one side was the the stove right burner yeah. burner and then the other side we thought this will be cool mm -hmm. be a grill and it fit perfectly on there fit Which, perfectly on yeah. the grill side right. and we thought this is great this is where it's supposed to go 
Let's show you what happened. Oh boy. So as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, we were uh, pretty uh, aghast when we It's our first it time we got to use it. Yeah, first time. And melt we it. totally melted it. Melt it. it. I had no idea it was aluminum. Anyway, <laughs> at least the pizza turned out good. That it was, was good. our saving grace. <laughs> it was good. And then we had to go find another stove during our trip, which mm -hmm. set us back another $100. And uh, I didn't think there was any way of salvaging that because it just melted into the burners. So just words to the wise, always use it on the camp stove burner side right. if you're going to do it. If you're getting a two burner stove, it'll fit right on one side. And again, do it outside on a uh, heat proof table and uh, you'll be good. The other thing you've learned is some of the oven mitts don't work very well. No, get yourself some really good heat proof like silicone, silicone ones like you got us now that we've learned the cheap Walmart ones. Uh, they have Dollar like a tree ones. Yeah, they have like a nylon covering over the oven mitt. And they well, melt too. That melts too. So <laughs> either good leather gloves like your work gloves will help or those silicone mats. So foods we've made, pizza. Pizza. Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Have you done melty sandwiches? We might have done melty sandwiches, like open face cheese toast. We haven't gotten things. too crazy with it, but the no. two that we've enjoyed it with are those two things. Our first attempt at the oven on the Coleman. Okay, don't mind the dog in the background. It's been barking ever since we it. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The chef should always get the first bite, in my opinion. Can't wait. Need just a little bit more of the salmon on there. But, okay, but, by me. Mm -hmm. What do you want to try? Because you're um, the chef. So. I want to try like muffins. Some people have done muffins with some or a coffee cake. That Ooh, would be good. Corn or bread. cornbread. People have done that. Um, not sure if you could probably cook like chicken, thin sliced chicken or bruschetta, bruschetta something like that in mm. there. That, there's probably a, a lot of uh, ideas for using this other than just for slapping cinnamon rolls in it, but. That's worth the investment Brownies. right there. Brownies. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They're hot. I don't know. Are they like, done? Yeah. They're done. Oh man. And they're not burnt. Wish hmm. we had smell vision. Dang. I'm not even kidding you. I think it's uh, no holds barred, half and half this morning. <laughs> it's all we're having for breakfast. Carb City, USA. Oh, well. Cookies. The only thing, yeah, cookies. That would be good. The mm -hmm. only thing you have to be aware of is that you have to watch the bottom of your pan. And and keep it up on the top yeah, level. Because otherwise anything lower than that, it's pumping out like 400 50 degrees of heat, so it's cooking hot. And keep your items, I would say, not real, like a, don't put a bunt pan in there because it'll never get cooked. Keep everything kind of in a shallow pan, cook it fast, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy this. Well, we have more experimenting to do. We definitely do. But so far, we've enjoyed it outside of our first faux pas. Um, <laughs> in conclusion. What do you like? Uh, I like you. Well, thanks. I like you, oh, too. I love you, actually. <laughs> oh, I love you, too. You look cute. <laughs> um, I think it's it's awesome. It's heavy. And it's, uh, if you're... What do you Tia. like about it? What do you like you about it? pizza? There's Tia, our golden doodle, who wants to be a TV star. She wants to provide the soundtrack. Tia, come here. Uh, where were we? What do you like? Oh, yeah. 
Um, I like the fact that it's compact. You can haul an oven. You're not having to haul this big bulky thing. It uh, folds yeah, down. <laughs> So in conclusion. In conclusion. Goodness. Yes. What yes. do you like? I like you. I like you too. <laughs> well, I actually love you. I love you too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Tell um, a story. The thing I really like is the fact that you can have a oven and bake cinnamon rolls and eat them fresh out of this Coleman oven on a brisk morning with your coffee. And oh man, there's just nothing like that. It folds down to where it's very compact. It's You can slip it into your van or an RV without any problem. It's not like you have to haul something that's big like this. Mm -hmm. Or install a big stovetop oven right. like some RVs have. So. Right, yeah. So this is kind of... Big safe space saver. Yeah. What do you like about it? I like the treats you make. <laughs> <laughs> I like the food it makes. Absolutely. I mean, I think, that's, I think it's just ingenious how they've come up with this and... Um, to mm -hmm. you know, we, we're we're huge fans of cinnamon rolls. So uh, you I mean, can tell. you can't you can't get you just it's so no. wonderful. Right. Just be sure that your cookware is metal. Uh, I would think silicon, you know, those flexible ones could work too because they're very high temperature. Uh, the one thing that I'm not crazy about mm. is I don't know. I can't think of anything. It's a little cumbersome to put together. It is. Oh, and the other thing is that you should only use it outdoors. So if the weather is kind of bad or it's really blustery or snowing or whatever, I mean, you could do I'll it. I'll suck it up and do it anyway. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> cinnamon rolls and pizza. Are it's worth, worth it. it. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. So will we buy it again? Heck mm -hmm. yeah. Heck yeah. It's I mean, worth it. So again, I uh, wanted to say thank you for all our new subscribers to the channel. We really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And uh, that that helps us continue to be motivated to put out more content. And we'll, we'll get to traveling here soon. But in the meantime... Let us know what you want to see yeah. us do. Um, is Do you like little product reviews like this? Would you rather just stick to us traveling? Do you like close to home travel in the Midwest? Or do you like it when we go... All over the country so like to the beach in florida yeah or to corpus christi yeah um it turns out to be one of the most popular videos you guys have liked so thank you so much yeah, appreciate that um so just let us know what kind of content as we were beginning this channel what you want to see what do you want to watch right um and uh send, send your uh gasoline credit card to us and we'll, <laughs> we'll go anywhere you want it's all good <laughs> in the meantime thanks for watching well, see you thanks for subscribing thanks for watch watching Ha, ha, ha.